Hello, welcome back. So let's have a look at some of these charts then, um, and mostly Bitcoin to be honest with you, because it's Bitcoin that's setting the standard for the rest of the market. So uh, what's been going on then? Um, so you don't need me to tell you that uh, last night everything went crazy, but we've been waiting for this for a while, haven't we? And um, now it's played out. So you know, you either if you, if you watch my channel, hopefully you would have sort of seen the inevitable come in and, and perhaps maybe sold off some of your your asset or shorted it, which would be even better. Um, but don't worry because you know what what goes up comes down and most of the time what goes down does come up most of the time but uh, where are we right now so but first of all I'm just going to get out of the way I'm not a financial advisor so it's not financial advice but we had this huge collapse a huge fall off the cliff and we came down through our first target which was just no problem at all just straight through and um, this is the target that I've had set for myself since this area was broken um, back in August so straight through that no problem at all my second target was this 200 exponential straight through that as well and then my third target was actually the uh, the 200 simple which was again straight through now we did find support within this blue box and now we're finding support on the um, you could almost say it's it's on the 200 simple but uh, we've actually been rejected from the 200 exponential which is it's it's pretty interesting to see that in fact that's kind of shocking really that that, that is where we were, we've been rejected from this first first pass we are on a daily chart here so when um, this whole trend was uh, sort of spotted by me about a week ago if you watch my channel we saw this cross here on the Ichimoku cloud because we're beneath the red we had the conversion line cross the baseline here and this sell off um, I, I, I first shorted it here, and this sell-off came. But then I was um, I was uh, stopped out by the by the whip. Actually, it, 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 it bounced straight back up again. But then, as soon as that happened, I'd made another short, and I've been shorting it ever since. I closed my short last night when it hit this guy here. Um, so I've made a nice little piece of money there. So where are we going to go from here? And um, now is not really the time to open a long or a short. Um, because um, there could be a hunt out, but if it was, if if there were to be a hunt out, it it would have to have an incredible amount of power to try and hunt people out from anywhere around here. Which I imagine most of the shots have been taking place around this area here, and certainly around this area here. So it would really have to break above this um, nine thousand three hundred and nine thousand four hundred. We'll call it. If it can break above there, then there is a chance for it to recover. But that's going to take an enormous amount of power because we are being rejected on the first attempt of the 200 exponential, which is also uh, now facing down ever so slightly. You can see that there is now a curve on there. And uh, having a curve on there, it would be the first time we've seen that um, since this bull market started. And um, let's, let's put things into context. Okay, So it's currently we are still up over 100% um, from where we started at the beginning of the year. Uh, so, you know, technically we are still in a bull market, there's nothing to be afraid of, but one thing I could tell you is we go to the monthly, and the monthly, um, just out of pure sort of um, anecdotal um, uh, advice, really, is the fact that uh, Bitcoin in a bull market has never had more than two candles consecutively in the red. And this would be our third one, and a yeah, very, very big bodied one as well. So that's just something to be aware of. It's just, like I say, it's anecdotal, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but generally speaking, Bitcoin has never had three in a row. Uh, the most it's ever had is two, uh, and this is in the entire 10 years of Bitcoin's history. So just bear that in mind. So we look here on the weekly then, so so what what do we have to, what, what, you know, what's good, what's bad? So the, first of all, we've been supported here um, on this green uh, 50. That, you could say that's where we bounced from, and that's kind of in the same level as 200 simple on the on the daily. And this blue box territory is the one that needs to break down for it to really get nasty, and um, the bottom level of that being 7,600. And if we break beneath that, then we do have this area here, uh, 7,000 to 7,200. And if that breaks down, then for the for the next um, for the next few weeks, actually, we've got this whole red Ichimoku cloud, uh, which should offer us some support, as well as this uh, 50 uh, simple. Uh, that being around 6,500, which essentially was my target, um, my 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 long-term target. Not really thinking. D didn't I, just, I still kind of don't think it's going to get any lower than that. But you know, the, this uh, all those areas of support which I had planned in there for in incremental s steps down 
completely annihilated just in one big candle last night. So, so you know, if it gets down to this area, you know, we could start to get pretty nasty. This area down here, from here to here, would be very, very slow and painful decline. Um, that's just the nature of, of of a big cloud like this. Um, but you know, it's not out of the realms of possibilities. This this could break down and break down, and if it does break down, there'll be a big fall, and it could be lower than where we started off at the beginning of the year. But that's a long way away. Let's go back to the daily and see what's happening. So, what we're going to see happens over the next few days is as this 200 exponential starts to bend down, we want to see if we're continuing to be rejected from it. And if we are, then I would say that it's going to be pushing us down ever so slightly, but surely in a, through these areas of support and down towards that target of 6,500. So what does this leave for alts? So we've got, first of all, we've got the Bitcoin dominance despite the big fall last night. Here we are on the four hourly chart. We've actually been making gains. So what does that actually mean? That means that altcoins are being killed. Altcoins are being destroyed. Um, EOS is the altcoin that I use um, to be a bit of a precursor to what's going on in the market. And it's completely fallen off a cliff. Which was great because I shorted it from this area here from from around yeah three dollars eighty or so and I shorted it um, and I actually bought it here as well so I've, it's it's been a really good mover for me and you know if you do margin trading you you'll you'll be with me on this you can make more money on the way down than you can on the way up or you can make as much money but you can make it faster I mean all all this was just completely shorted completely shorted. Uh, and I thought this was a good move. Now this was an amazing move. So EOS is one of my favourites for the fact that it makes huge moves, and it's and it's quite um, it's quite a, a liquid asset. So I can generally get my books filled with this with this one. Uh, but alts are looking pretty pretty shocking, and because the dominance chart is 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 continuing to rise, I'd probably say that we're looking for more um, more pain with the alts. Um, that said, uh, there will be a tipping point where this dominance chart starts to come back down again and with Bitcoin being low and alts pretty much being at, uh, at almost an all time low, um, there will be a, a, tie, a, a sort of a moment where the tide turns and alts will actually begin to pump. Now my original idea was that alts will begin to pump at around about November at the earliest. I've been saying that for a while now, if you, if you watch my videos you, you, you'll see why I've been saying that. I still think that that's a lot more more likely than not, and um, that that there will be a pump with alts before the end of the year. Even though the way that Bitcoin looks now, after what happened last night, looks like we might be in a recession, from, you know, perhaps maybe for the rest of the year, there will be a, a a time when alts begin to pump, even though Bitcoin's falling. But just because they pump doesn't mean that they're going to go anywhere near where they've been so far. I mean, those prices are so far away. That um, it, it seems very, very unlikely that there's going to be any, any. Um, if if you're, for instance, if you're holding coins in Binance and, and you, you know you bought them perhaps maybe months ago, you, you're going to have to probably wait till next year to see the returns on those now. But that's no big deal, you know. It depends on what, obviously what you've bought. But we have a look at Matic, which is a coin that I actually accumulate and and um, taking some of my profits last night. I'm certainly going to be looking to buy some more of this um, at this price. And I don't think that Matic, despite um, how hard alts have been hit, I don't think at Matic is actually going to be much lower or even lower than than its than its all-time low here, of around about. Uh, just less than a, a, a cent. Um, Matic is one of those um, odd coins. Right? It's not like the rest. Right? It's, it's only just been a, um, available for margin trading on Binance as of yesterday. So it, it, you know, when, when things are, are, are um, put on margin accounts, you can make money from them going down. If, the, if they're not on margin accounts, basically it's the, the reason that they go down is people selling their actual holdings. Matic is uh, not available now to buy in, uh, on Binance or, uh, in the US, so it was. It's my sort of theory that those who hold Matic are people like myself that perhaps have a have a vested interest in the future of this coin. Um, but at the same token, you know, anyone who's holding this coin, 
now is probably unlikely to want to sell it because they, like me, do expect good things from the future. Especially now that staking is about to come into place and so people have got more of an incentive to hold them. Um, whether or not there is a, a Coinbase listing or not, you know, we don't know. But um, but generally speaking, it, it was hit hard yesterday, but it wasn't hit as hard as some of those top um, top coins. And I think it's basically because it, it's traded a lot less now. Um, and uh, we may see lows of this level here. We may see lower lows than that level there. But um, it doesn't appear to me like it's going to be aggressively sold off like we saw with things like EOS. Now you can see EOS has been completely demolished. And in fact, where are we now? We are we are lower than we were when we took our first lift off when the alt season began, and um, we may even see lower lows than this. So it's a strange situation. I'm going to have to get a bit more in depth on on the altcoin situation for you. Um, but for the moment, everything looks like it wants to come down. Uh, and some things are going to come down more than others, especially Bitcoin. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day and take it easy.